there's this weird like white truck there i'll get to that but anyways the wind is blowing ferociously it's freezing i am like immediately this is what it's about everyone else completely miserable besides home stop home with you thank you okay hello <laughs> i worked hard yesterday so much hard work i had a full meltdown in a mattress store and then threw a hawk off a cliff and that's a true story that's, that's a full day well my guess is is the hawk ate rat poison and then was mid-flight and was like, uh-oh. <laughs> whoops it is <laughs> Right? Was, Didn't see that coming. It was still alive, and I was like, oh, no. And, you know, then I'm, like, crying. I couldn't watch it die. I was like, I've got to get out of here. But I had these, like, images of me clubbing it just because I couldn't watch it suffer. You know? Like, Wait, is that something you actually did? Or No, I didn't club the hawk. I couldn't. I couldn't. Buy our merch. Oh, buy shit. our merch. Buy our merch. Oh, buy frick. our merch. Buy our oh, merch. Shit. Buy our merch. Oh, frick. Buy our merch. Like, right. Me and my friend are being like, not it, not <laughs> it, on this <laughs> omen thing. Like we're really freaking out about it. I mean, it. it. There's always the possibility that it is is an, an omen as well. It could just be no. a hawk mm. that died. No, no. Oh my God. All hawks are beautiful. Hawks For are sure. pretty birds. Not when they're like sending you a message that like doom is Im imminent. They're like a little scarier. It was a beautiful bird. That's why I was gonna make a smudge stick. And then I uh, did what I always do, which is not follow through on something. Which leads me to the mattress story. Okay, I still need to get this off my chest. So you figure okay. this out, and I'm gonna keep going because well, I can't stop. We'll be, no, we'll no, be no, right no, back. No, no. We will be right Are back sure? with the I don't, thrilling conclusion of this people. story. Everyone goes, you know what I mean? You can't really count on anyone to stick around. Uh, whatever. Lip I went to the Ikea, mm -hmm. and what I didn't realize until I arrived at the Ikea is that Ikeas are like, have like an airlock system that once you're in, you gotta go all the way through the store to get out. Oh, I love it. It's like um, a labyrinth, like a mat, like a Yes, mat except for it's a fun idea, but then actually think about being in it. <laughs> Mm, no. Nightmare. I, I think I love it. Okay. And I was like, I found a bucket list from when I was a kid, and it was like, living in an RV. And then, you know, I found another bucket list from when I was adult, and it said, uh, own an RV, because, you know. But he was like, that's a pretty attainable goal. And I was like, if that's been my only goal that's, like, remained throughout my life, shouldn't I do that? Wouldn't buying a bed of this caliber, like, hold me back from that? So I was like, I owned a nice bed, a $3,000 bed one. Having a full meltdown, and I'm like literally losing my shit. And then he starts having a meltdown. And he's like, oh man, decisive actions are hard. And he looks at me and goes, how long have you been having this struggle? And I was like, this struggle? Probably since the moment I was born. And he goes, no, mattress specific. <laughs> and then he said, well, when did you really decide that enough was enough? And I was like, uh, as soon as I remembered President's Day had a lot of sales. Like this is about an hour into it. The first hour he yeah. was authentically trying to sell me a mattress. And then he was like folding me up like a taco in him. And I kept going, woo! I don't chew my food enough. She's literally been saying that to me since I was eight. Like, and this is why. That doesn't you'll make never any goddamn love. sense. You know. Wait. You've met her. You how? Know, yes, accurate. I. It's accurate. How little do you chew your food? I. How often I do you choke? Could have been it. <laughs> if I'm gonna like commit to like being a domestic lady, like I'd rather have a nice mattress. All right. And if I'm gonna commit to being like, hey, I'm Thelma and Louise without Louise. We're Thelma. You can do that with a nice mattress. I was like, I want the one that folds. You can't put that in an RV. I was like, I'm in so much pain, but I was like, sketch. What'd you say? Did you say it's sketch? If it's sketchy, I'm into it. So much pain. I'm Lacey Day. I only do things that I shouldn't. A ragtag that's, group. That's of... my impression of you. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm Lacey Day. I only do things I shouldn't. <laughs> it's a very accurate impression. <laughs> I self sabotage. I ah. I only do things when people are like, you shouldn't do those things. <laughs> I'd rather just like do things that people are like. Whoa, Lacey, seriously. Here's, here's the thing that I know about seahorses. Tell me. Ooh, tell me. Uh, With the bated breath. Boy seahorses carry the babies. Whoa. And when they give birth to the babies, it looks like they're coming the babies. They're like, huh, 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 huh. <laughs>
It's Why just do you like know that? Millions of little baby seahorses. What did you do to get there? The no, because uh, I grew up in California, and we would go. The Monterey Bay Aquarium is one of the like biggest. Yeah, I'm a Cali boy. In California, in it's California, normal to go we on know field about trips things the, that come no. babies. <laughs> it's normal to go on field trips to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. The Monterey Bay Aquarium. <laughs> In California, it's normal to go on field trips. 